Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk through something bad that I've done. <laughs> but I think it's good, maybe, hopefully. Um, I bought in to a trend. And a trend, more importantly, that I don't believe in. <laughs> so why did I do this, you might ask. Well, first of all, if you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that notification bell and it'll just let you know every single time I put out new videos. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So why have I done this, you might be asking. Well, I was in the bath and I'd had a little bit of wine and I was like, this looks great. And I was thinking about a trip that I have coming up where I'm gonna be in London, I'm gonna be in Paris. So you'll probably see the sort of London influence, Paris influence. But that's like not how you should buy stuff. And I know that, I know better than that. But I don't know why I thought, let me just try it. In fact, I've even seen some of these items in the store and I thought, well, number one, I thought, oh my gosh, that's so short, I'll never be able to wear that. But anyway, let's just get right into it. So today I have two skirt suits and actually a shirt that I got from Mango. So it's kind of like a little mini mango haul, but I really wanted to focus on <laughs> the skirt suits because it's such a prevalent trend right now. I mean, suiting in general hasn't gone anywhere. You guys know I love a suit so, so much. The great thing about suits, and I've said this a million times, but I'll say it again, is that you can wear them together, wear them as separates. You get so much wear and versatility out of them, especially if you have them in neutral colors, but even if you have them in super fun colors, there's really no, you can dress a suit down, you can dress a suit up. Like a suit is never an inappropriate choice. And so I just love a suit for that reason. And I feel so strong and powerful and sexy when I wear a suit. The reason why I've never been into the skirt suit, frankly, is that it's felt too 80s for me. It always looks a little too dated, like it's from a particular era, whether that be, I feel like in the 80s it was more of like, the pencil skirt suit, so a longer skirt with the jacket, with the shoulder pad. And then I feel like the 60s, you had the cute, like I'm a flight attendant skirt suit, or maybe the skirts were mini skirts or a little bit shorter. These, in my opinion, have more of like a 60s kind of vibe to them. But I just feel like they don't feel timeless in my mind, and they, more importantly, they don't feel modern. And so I've always just really stayed away from the skirt suit. But these, I just was a little bit drawn to. So I'm going to talk about first, well, first of all, I'm gonna talk about this shirt, something that has nothing to do with the skirt suit. I love this shirt. And I actually saw a shirt from Frame Denim that looks very similar, it was like black with cream. And I just, look at that contrast. I mean, hello. So regardless of if I send all of these back, I mean, this was the one win from that whole order is this shirt. I will say if you're into this shirt, and the only thing that I don't like about this shirt is that it's see-through. So right now I have on a nude, let me just show you. I have on like a nude tank top underneath of it because you could actually see my nude bra a little bit through this. It's not so egregiously see-through that you think it's really cheaply made, but it's, it's, a little too see-through for my liking. So I do not like the fact you have to wear sort of an extra shirt underneath of it. But in general, this is a really great shirt. Okay, so now that we've gotten my love, of course, of button-up shirts out of the way, let's dive into the skirt suits. So this first suit looks a little bit more modern in my opinion. This skirt suit looks a little bit 60s, a little almost kind of military-esque and it's made out of this wool fabric that is feels almost like a felt. It's super structured, very thick. This was not inexpensive by any means. It's very good quality. So I think this jacket was actually like 160 or $70 or something. So that's also something to consider. So this is like a higher price point. And yeah, I did love the like cute little cropped nature of it. I was a little worried when I first saw it that it would be too much like my totem gray pea coat that I just got from the real real. And 
they're similar but they're different first of all they're different tones this is definitely more of like a charcoal darker gray and my totem coat is still a gray but just like a little bit lighter of a gray it's also more oversized whereas this is really chic and cropped and fitted so in both of these outfits i got the skirt in a size small and i got the jacket in a size extra small and i did that because i'm just a little bit smaller in like the waist and the shoulders. And then I don't have like big hips by any means, but I do like to have a little more room for the booty. <laughs> so for reference, I'm 5'7", I'm roughly 130 pounds. My proportions, I will say though, I will warn you are a little off and I wanna call that out for this video because the skirt suits have very short skirts, which I will get into. I have pretty short legs. Even though I'm 5'7", most of my height is actually here. And so I wear pants and skirts and things that would look more like what it would look like on someone that's like 5'3", 5 5'2", 5 no exaggeration. I've stood next to my friends who are that tall and like sure enough, my legs are the same height. So alas, got this in an extra small and at first I was like, ah, no way, like just, it's not my vibe. And then as I started styling up other outfits, like especially when I was doing my cost haul and stuff, I was just grabbing for this gray jacket and throwing it on. It was a really nice way to kind of break up an all black outfit. It looked really just kind of a cute transitional jacket when you don't want to be wearing something big, but I'm, I'm not a cardigan person, frankly. So like this feels a little cooler than like a cardigan, but it's still kind of that vibe of something you would just throw on. It does, it's funny now actually, I went back and looked at the photos on the site because they have it pictured with the belt cinched in at the waist. And on the original kind of cover picture with the model, I think she had broader shoulders and a smaller waist, whereas I'm either a little more up and down slash like hourglassy and it just, I actually don't like it with the belt as much as I thought I would. That's actually one of the things that sold me about ordering this was the little cinched in nature of it, but it just doesn't really look like that on me. I feel like when I button up both the top and have the skirt and I cinch it in, it kind of just makes me look like a big gray column with very little shape. <laughs> and so I don't love that about it personally, but if you have different proportions, like if you have broader shoulders, this could actually look pretty cute on you if you have a skinnier waist. But the beltedness just felt a little too much for me. It also felt a little too boarding school, headmaster, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a little too buttoned up for me. So I do think I prefer it when it's open, a little, a little more casual. I really loved it when I paired it with my black cos wool trousers, as well as that black top, like a skinny little black wool top and then just throwing that jacket on over the top it's really nice maybe even a little scarf now that it's getting warmer some little ballet flats it's just a really chic sort of easy piece that is comfortable but still looks really high end and so i do prefer it in a more casual sense i also liked pairing it with the skirt when it was more casual and just having i mean it actually looked really good with this button up underneath and so if i wanted to go kind of that more preppy schoolgirl kind of look then having the button up underneath is cool having um even a bigger button up i think i might try to play around with proportions a little more depending on how i'm wearing it especially if i'm wearing it with flats i will say now let's talk about the skirt a little bit it's short <laughs> like, when i saw this in the store I was like, who can wear that? It is a piece, it's like, it's so tiny. It's like the size of my head, it's crazy. How would this cover anyone's bum? It actually does. If you have very short legs like I do, I actually think it's a pretty flattering uh, kind of skirt to wear. And so I didn't mind that. I will say it's it's obviously a wool skirt. So it's, I think you have to be careful wearing, when you're wearing mini skirts like this. I wouldn't probably ever wear this without black tights underneath is what i'm trying to say or some version of tights underneath just because i wouldn't want my legs out that much personally just because it's it is really short if i'm gonna go for like a short legs out look i'm probably gonna go for a skirt. i have some great ones from zara and I just feel a little more comfortable with that but i think this looks so good with tights and i actually don't have a gray i mean i didn't have a black one so why would i have a gray one right like so this actually i do think filled a pretty nice gap in my wardrobe i do like again similar to the jacket that it can break up 
an all black look. I think it would actually look even really nice with just a sweater on top and just separating it out from the jacket with like boots or ballet flats if some of them were comfortable, casual. I kind of like that it's a little lower waisted, it's something that we haven't seen. Most of my stuff is high waisted, so it is nice to like, if you do have a sweater that you love, to show that off a little bit more with this. So I actually really like this mini skirt. I do think the mini skirt was a lower price point, of course, than the jacket. The mini skirt I think was maybe 60 USD or something like that. I'll leave it all linked down below so you'll see it. But yeah, I just felt like this skirt was actually really nice. So I, the longer I've been holding on to this, and that that's something I try to practice pretty regularly with my clothing is that unless I try something on and I just know instantly that I'm not going to like it, if I'm on the fence with it. I will leave it on my clothing rack, which is why I think it's really great and powerful to have a clothing rack. My boyfriend tries to get rid of it all the time and I won't let him because this is very important in terms of me planning my outfits and figuring out if I'm going to wear something because like with this jacket, I actually was starting to grab for it and styling it with pieces that were already in my wardrobe. And that's a really good sign that I'm probably going to wear this. If you hang something up and you haven't worn it for a week, a couple of weeks, I mean, obviously you need to be careful that you don't run through your return window, but Mango has actually, I think they're 30 or 60 days or something. It's a very long window between Mango and Zara and a lot of the like more fast fashion brands. So yeah, I just, I think it's good. Let it sit, see if you grab for it. If you don't return it, if you don't wear it that first week or so, you're not gonna be more excited about it later, trust me. And if you are like, it's probably gonna be for a one-off thing and it's not probably worth investing in, in that way. So that's the gray skirt suit. Now, now we're gonna get into, oh, apologies for the city sounds. Um, oh, there's like a big boat, anyway. The next skirt suit, I want to fully acknowledge that I know that this is not me. This isn't my style. This is not who I am. This was 100% me thinking about Paris Maryland. <laughs> and that's another thing that I've really had to get better at is not buying for this imaginary, idealized version of myself that only exists for short periods of time. It's one thing if you have an idealized version of yourself, I think that's actually really healthy to say, I wanna look more professional or I wanna look more trendy, amazing. But that's something you're gonna implement a lot more often than this is what I'm gonna wear in Paris. <laughs> and so, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna show it to you guys because I actually think it's really beautifully made and it's probably someone's style out there. So I do wanna show it off, but I also want to acknowledge that like this is not it for me and this definitely will be returned. So let's just get right into it. So this is the like Chanel-esque dupe sort of jacket. And it, I mean, it is beautiful. It has all of the things that you would want in a jacket like this. So if you've been looking for one like this, I think this one's actually way better than any of the ones that I've seen at Zara or other places so far. And this is a style that keeps coming back year, year after year. So, you know, it's, it's definitely not, I think it's trendy a little bit, but like, you know, you can make it a classic. So what I think is nice about it is I think this like, open collar that doesn't have a collar I think is really great. This would look so good even with like this kind of a button up peeking up out of it or even just a turtleneck or something. But it can let another neckline really shine which is nice. And then I just like this like frayed material. I'm gonna try to show you close-ups like how good is that? And then of course these big beautiful gold buttons, the pockets, there's two sets of pockets. I mean the detailing on this is absolutely stunning. This material is really, really beautiful and the cropped, clean, classy nature of the jacket, I mean, it's, it's a really nice looking jacket. So you definitely can't ignore that. It's just not, sorry, dust all over this from my room. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just not my particular style. The thing is, I will say, okay, so I'm gonna show this styled up a couple of different ways. With this particular skirt suit, when I wear it together, this is, in my opinion, a very hard statement to make. It's really tough to pull off this like matchy matchy without it looking, in my opinion, like a costume or like extra Blair Waldorf. 
personally. It's just not the way that I like to dress. If I was going to be wearing this, I would like to add in some juxtaposition. And what I mean by that is like, this is a very prim and proper jacket, 100%. And if you're not careful, this could skew a little more elderly, which is fine if that's what you want and that's the aesthetic that you want. But if you don't, I think it's really important to add in some contrast. So what I mean by that is like, I'm gonna style this up with a black shirt, my black wool cost top, and some Levi's, some baggy 90s Levi's that I have, and then some ballet flats. So you still have like the preppy pieces, I'd say the ballet flats and then this jacket. And then you have some more alternative, a little more rebellious pieces thrown in there. With my jewelry, I would also stick with actually kind of like what I'm wearing right now, more like rebellious, like no pearls, nothing that's gonna like add on to the sort of stuffiness that's already in this jacket. I think if you style it up in that way, it could look really cool. I'm still not gonna keep it because like, yeah, it looks cool, but I have cooler stuff in my wardrobe that I'm like more excited about. But if you're excited about this jacket, this could be a cool look. I think this would also look really great if you are going, if you do need to kind of level it up a little, make it look a little more formal. I mean, if you want to punk rock it out, you could actually wear this with leather pants. That would look really cool. And yeah, I would just stick away from like going like two like black trousers with this, with like, that just looks, I don't know, a little, a little elderly to me. So that's that. The skirt is, is it a short? How's the gray one? I don't think so. Hold on. Uh, no, it's like, it's like an inch lower. So this skirt's like a little bit lower, but it's also a little bit more high-waisted. So not like a lot high-waisted, but it is slightly more. So I think it nets out about the same. It's made of that beautiful woven fabric detailing. Again, it is lined. So it is a very high quality skirt in my opinion. And this is a nice option. I honestly think if I hadn't purchased my cost wool skirt, I would have been like really excited about this one because this is also close to sort of what I was looking for in terms of like a classic wool skirt, even though this one of course has the detailing. But I mean, once again, you can mix and match this with maybe a black top, little leather jacket or something. This one you don't need to sort of add in more contrast because I don't find anything particularly elderly about this. I mean, it's a freaking mini skirt for goodness sake, even though it is more of that like traditional fabric, I guess. But this is a great standalone kind of skirt on its own. This will look good with just tights and boots and uh, oh, I think this would look really good with my gray blazer. This would honestly probably even look really great with this jacket. Just kind of like mix these two textures and colors or lack of colors. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm not upset about this skirt, but I'm, I'm also, I like my cost wool skirt a little bit more. So I will be returning these two things. If I want to keep the gray wool set, I'm still trying to noodle on just because I like it. I've been grabbing for it but do I like it so much that I want it for $200 as opposed to other things in my wardrobe? I don't know, I don't know. I think maybe after I like style these up and try them on, I'll probably make a final call, but in general, I just wanted to share these two kind of cool suits that are out there and let you guys know sort of what they look like, how I would style them up, but yeah, let me know if you guys are into the skirt suit, if you're not into the skirt suit, and if you picked up one yourself, maybe from somewhere else, let me know. But I will see you all in my next video.